Hey guys, this is Painting Up Sounds, and this is where we provide um, free um, education in the and uh, po for poetry and storytelling. Um, in this particular uh, series, we are going through all 154 of Shakespeare's sonnets, and we are looking at the poetic meter of the poems, just the poetic meter. Um, for those of you new, poetic meter is an organized rhythm. The poet strategically uh, places certain words and syllables at key locations within a line to create the rhythmic effect. Okay, the particular pattern, the particular rhythmic pattern we're looking at in Shakespeare's poems are iambic pentameter. This has a da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum rhythm um, to it, as we'll see. Um, also, um, some general notes. Uh, stress is relative. What this means is that certain uh, words or um, Basically, certain words that might be assented in one line won't be assented in another. We've seen a couple examples through that for that. Um, we've also talked about rhetorical stress. That's where we uh, stress a word or syllable for dramatic effect. This cannot be forced. I think we saw that in the last poem. Um, we also talked about com we have talked about compound nouns, where the first word takes the primary stress. This gets a lot of people confused. Um, We've also talked about light feet at the end of the line gets promoted, and we've also talked that adjectives can't outstress a noun, and so and all, but don't confuse them with compound nouns either. Um, <clears throat> so with that, with those general notes in mind, um, some common substitutions and variations we have seen repeat over and over again. Um, we've seen trochi openings. That's where the line opens with the trochi. We've seen hypermetrical. Um, Endings, uh, that's where there's an un, 11th unassented syllable at the end of the line. They can be a singular pronoun in, a, in some rare cases, as we saw. We've seen uh, midline trochees. This usually follows a grammatical pause. We've seen spondees. These are heavy, heavy feet that appear um, usually at the opening. And then we've seen uh, double ionics. This is a light, light, heavy, heavy pattern that, ap that appears within iambic pentameter. Okay, so these are the, the general things we've learned so far in this series. Um, now, for those of new, we have a three-part three, three part process that we do uh, for when we, um, for scanning, basically breaking down the rhythm of the poem. Uh, step one is we highlight the important monosyllable words. Those will be verbs, nouns, adjectives, and adverbs, and sometimes demonstration, uh, demonstrative uh, pronouns, sometimes. Uh, we've also, step two, is then we go look at all the multi-syllable words and we highlight the primary stress. And then the last is we promote and demote. Uh, promotion is if you have three light beats in a row, light, 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 the heavy one gets promoted. And if you got three heavy beats in a row, heavy, 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 the middle one gets demoted, okay? Um, so before moving forward, I suggest I would recommend that you scan the poem yourself and then come back and see how your scan compares to mine. Either you've done this or you're not interested, so I'll read off Sonnet 14, and then we will uh, go into it line by line. <clears throat> not from the stars do I judge, do my judgment pluck, and yet methinks I have astronomy, but not to tell of good or evil luck, of plagues, of deaths, of seasons, quality, nor can I fortune, fortune, wait, fortune to brief minutes tell pointing to each his thunder, rain and wind, or say with princes if it shall go well, by aught predict that I in heaven find, but from thine eyes my knowledge I de derive, and constant stars in them I read such aught, as truth and beauty shall together thrive, it from thyself to store thou wouldst convert, or else of thee this I for not pronosticate. Thy end is truth and beauty's doom and date. Okay, guys. So, line one. Not from the stars do I my judgment pluck. Okay. So, first, first we have to promote all the important monosyllable words. Well, let's do that. We have not, right? That's an adverb. Then we get stars. And we got pluck, right? So, we got three so far. And next, do we uh, we have one multisyllable word, and the that's the judge and judgment is the primary stress. Okay, next, do we have any promotions? And we got this. We got you know light, light, light. So the middle one gets promoted, right? That's five beats. Um, and we 
break it apart. Look at that. Not from the stars do I my judgment pluck. Right? So this is a trochi followed by Imber, 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 right? Like I said, trochi openings. This can occur. That's a trochi opening, guys. Solid, right? Solid. Okay. Next line. And yet, methinks I have astronomy. Astronomy. Okay. Um. Do we have any? Do we have any monosyllable words? Well, we have one, and we have have. And this isn't a um, supporting verb. Um, this is like have. Like I have. Like I have the pen. Right. It's a verb. Okay. So we got that. Okay. Now let's look at the um. Mon. mon ah. The multi-syllable words. Let's look at the um, primary stress. What's thinks and me thinks, and then it's stron and astronomy. Right, and I'll break this word apart because we're gonna get back to it. Right. Okay. Now, do we have any promotions? Let me break this apart. We got light, light, light. So that gets promoted, and then we have a light, light. And like I said earlier, we have. So light feed at the end of the line get promoted because there's no there's, there's no other syllable on the other side that would make that would force the promotion so that's why we promote it. So we break this apart and we can see we got five beats. And yet methinks I have a strong on me. Right? So I'm ber, I'm ber, I'm ber, I'm ber, I'm ber. Cool, right? Next line. But not to tell of good or evil luck. This is a really simple line. So let's get all the important monosyllable words. We got not. We got tell. We got good. And we got e uh, luck. Right. Pretty simple. Uh, and then step two, mono multisyllable words. We got the eve and evil. Right. Let's break that apart. Okay, and then we can, do we have any promotions? Nay. So we just do this, 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 this. So, but not to tell of good or evil luck. All right, so we got Imber, 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 right? Cool, right? Imber, Katambra. Pretty simple, right, guys? Next line of plagues or de of de deaths or season quality. Well, step one, do we have uh, any important monosyllable words? We do. We have plagues. We have dirts. Okay. Now, step two, let's get the primary stress out of the multisyllable words. Well, that's C and season. And then qual and quality. And we'll break this apart. Cool. Okay, do we have any promotions? We got one, right? We got light, light. There's nothing on this side. So it's promoted. Right, of so of plagues, of dirts, or seasons, quality. Again, I am a pretender. I'm 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 Pretty simple, I guess. So next, next one. Nor can I fortune two brief minutes tell. Now this line's got some cool things going on. All right, step one, guys. Uh, let's get all the important monosyllable words. So that's brief. That's tell. Okay, now the important, um, important, important uh, primary stresses in the multisyllable words. We got four and we got min, right? Minutes. Okay, do we have any promotions? We got one, we got light, light, light. Cool. But no promotion here, right? We got two lights, but not a third, right? But if you break it apart, what's this pattern here? Light, light, heavy, heavy. Double ionic, light, light, heavy, heavy. There we go, guys. It's a double ionic. Cool, right? So it's an Imba, Imba, double ionic, Imba. Cool, right? So far, so good, right, guys? Everything we've talked about has been matching up with, with the poems, right? So, next line, pointing to each his thunder, rain, and wind. So, step one, 
get all the point miles over words. We get rain. We got wind. Okay, now let's look at the primary stresses in the multi-syllable word. We got point and pointing. We got thun and thunder. Okay. Now, some of you, now this is going to cause some confusion, okay? Now we got, now do we have some promotions, right? Well, we got, a, we got one problem, right? This, does this get promoted? Because it is between this one and this one, all right? It is in between that, right? Or do we, or do we promote each because it's in between two and his, all right? Ooh, ooh, what do we do? What do we do? Um... It is each, right? Um, that is what he's that is what he's wanting. Uh, but you can see where people might get confused. Newer people get confused. I've actually seen um, experienced poets who know this give people on critiques on this, um, and I'm gonna explain why. Um, generally speaking, I do not like doing a promotion. Um, and some people might argue that this is each is a little bit more than a promotion, but I, I don't consider it that great of an important word. Um, I generally follow a trochi with a very hard imber or a, a sponde. What I do not do is I do not try to uh, I do not try to promote right, right after a trochi opening for this this actual reason. But but everyone has their style and their methodologies behind their styles. I'm just saying that is something I would not do. But this line is trochi imber 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 imber. So pointing to each his thunder, rain, and wind. Right. That is the rhythm of the line, so just keep that in mind. So that's that's my general advice, guys. I do when I do a trochi opening, I generally follow it with a hard imber, not a promoted imber, or a um, or a sponde. Just just so there's no like, oh, do I promote the two? Because you, you can see what someone would promote the two, right? And I don't think that would be necessarily long, long right? Uh, but that that's just me, right? That is just me. Okay. Next, um, step one. Oh, let me read on. I'll say with princes if it shall go well. Well, let's get all the important monosyllable words. We got say, and we got go, which is a verb, right? And we got well, which is an adverb, right? Okay, next up, we got, uh, do we have any, um, do we have any, uh, we got one, the prince and princes is the primary stress, right? Again, we do have some issues, right? We could, you could say, well, do I promote the if, because the if is between this unscented and this unscented, or do I promote the it, because it's between this unscented and this unscented? Now, this is a little bit easier to justify than this one, right? Um, and I'm explaining why. So really, it's the if. That's the one that's getting promoted, or should be getting promoted. And then we have a double ionic here, but let me explain why. So this right here, any sort of like ing ending or like a like a ed ending or anything that, like this right here that follows like you know a two syllable word where it, this is the the first the first syllable is the primary stress and the second you know just some leftover. This is really weakly. Like if I had to say this like in the use the the, the ranking system, this is like half a stress because sometimes we don't even say princes, we just say prince, right? We, or you could say prince, meaning princess, that people do that. And this is probably a solid too, right? It, it's obviously way more stress than that, right? But this one, these these get a little bit more. But again, you know, you still could say, could I promote this? Or, um, so do, so that's a keep in mind. Like again, you just gotta you just gotta keep in mind how people could scan your poem. Um, but the rhythm, this is the rhythm of the line, so it's or say with princes if it shall go well. So it's a double ionic, right? This is a light, light, heavy, heavy. And I just want you guys to think this. I'm not saying Shakespeare's wrong. I'm just saying this is something I, I would not write like that, right? Everyone has their own style. And you should keep in mind why you have your own rules, right? This is this is just me giving you insight into me. So that's Imber, 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 and then it's a double ionic, right? That's how the line ends. Double ionic. Cool, right? So next line. By oft predict that I in heaven find. Now I'm gonna say this right now. Um, actually, I'll, let's do the scan first. Let's get the important monosyllable word. That's find, right? Okay, and then 
Let's do the next one, uh, the important multi-syllable, uh, the primary stresses in the multi-syllable words. So that's the dict and predict and have in heaven. Cool. All right. Interesting thing. I think it was poem one. We saw that they, they pronounce heaven as a single syllable. You will see that in older poetry. Uh, so keep that in mind. But they, in this particular case, he's pronouncing it as two syllable. Uh, so they do do that. Um, they, we don't really do stuff like that anymore these days. But back then they did. Right. So let's look. Do we have any promotions? Well, we got buy off. We got light, light, light. So this gets promoted, right? And then we got light, light, light. And we get this one's promoted, right? And that matches our rules, right? Step one, monosyllable words. Step two, get the primary stress and multisyllable words, and then promote or demote. So that's what everything. That's everything we've talked about. So you break it apart. By oft predict that I and heaven find, right? Yeah, it's Iamber, Iamber, Iamber. I'm a, I'm a pretty solid, pretty solid, right? Mine. Next, but from thine eyes, my knowledge I do derive, derive. Sorry. Um, step one, let's get the you know important mass of words. It's just eyes. Then we got now, right? Knowledge. Then derive from derive so that's you know step one get the prime uh, important single syllable words step two in the multi-syllable words get the primary stresses do we have any promotions well we have a couple we have light 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 so from right and then we got light 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 so the I cool so but from thine eyes, my knowledge, I derive. Listen to the I sound too. Thine, I, I derive. Right? A lot of I sound in this poem too. We'll come back when I do the, when I follow up with the more um, meaningful approach to these uh, poems. When we look at the other poetics and the actual meaning, we'll get into a lot of that. Uh, but right now, I just want you guys to understand how it gets scans. Because when I circle back to do these poems again, but more more in depth of the overall poem, I'm not going to explain how I got the scan. I'm just going to scan it and say this is the scan for the line. And these these are the poems you're going to have to read. You have to read through here to understand how I got that scan. Right. All right. Next line. In constant stars in them I read such art. Okay. Step one. All the important monosyllable lines. I read. Art. Stars. Right. Step two, any of the important mana, uh, putting primary stresses in the multi-syllable words. Uh, we got the cons and constant, right? Then do we got any promotions? Well, we got in them I, so them. Cool. That pretty much does it, right? I don't think that we have other. So, in constant stars in them I read such art, right? Again, yeah, that's pure Imbra. Imbra, 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 right? Very simple line to scan. Okay, next line. As truth and beauty shall together thrive. Again, step one. Let's get all the important monosyllable words. That's truth. Let's thrive. Okay, that's all we got. Next, let's look at the multisyllable words and get the primary stresses. Well, we got the beauty and beauty. We got the get together. Okay, do we have any promotions? Let's take a look. Oh, we got this light, light, light. So we know shell needs to get promoted, right? And we do truth, beauty, shall together thrive. And truth and beauty shall together thrive. Cool, right? I'm but, I'm but, I'm but, I'm but, I'm but, right? Um, next line. If from thyself to store thou wouldst convert, okay? Step one, guys, let's get the important monosyllable, a single syllable word. So we only got one, that's store. All right. Step two, let's get all the um, and the multi-syllable words. Let's get the primary stress. Well, we got self. And then we got revert and convert. Okay. We got promotions. Well, we got a few. Okay, we got light, light, light. So the middle one, oops, the middle one gets promoted, right? This is promotion. Promotion, by the way, is way more way more um, likely to happen than demotion, right? Happens way more often. And then we got this other light, light, light. So that gets promoted, right? 
So, if from thyself to store thou wouldst convert, all right? Again, Iambra, 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 Iambra. This is a very iambic poem, right? There is not a lot of substitutions or variations, right? We have a few double ionics, a few trophy openings, but it's not like some poems we've seen that just get crazy, right? Get cray cray. All right, next line. Or else of thee, this is I pronosticate. Okay. So, what is else, by the way? Is else an adverb technically? It is an adverb, okay. I thought that was an adverb, right? So let's get some point. Well, this is a pretty weak adverb. I mean, it's not the, the most important one, but I'd like to, otherwise there's a lot of promotions in this. Then we got the nos and nosticate. All right, let's break this word apart, actually. Sometimes it's easier. You break words apart. Cool, right? Okay, do we got any, um, now, like I said, this sometimes demonstrative, uh, demonstrative um, pronouns have. I like to mark them like this. Like demonstrative pronouns, if you had a real, if I had to give them a number, are like a 2.5, right? So they more often than not get get promoted, or have a have a stress on them, right? Just to kind of, just to kind of guys give you this, because otherwise we have a, like this whole line is like four promotions, so you got to kind of work sometimes. So. But that is not the right answer, right? So here we go, guys. Look at this. We got... Okay, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is not getting promoted. That is not. So we got to break this apart, right? To kind of see it, right? Um, this one's easy, because like I said, we know that gets promoted, because again... Oh, uh, is it that? Light feet at the end of the line get promoted, right? Even though there's not a... Even though there's not a, another syllable on the other side, we know this. Uh, but look at this. We got... Like, why, why wouldn't I promote? I thought this was actually at first. Because, and it, you know, it's between the I and the the, right? You could see me promoting this. And the the is, you know. But the, it just. You, you can see it, right? You can see it. E even if you didn't know else was an adverb, you can see, like, well, you know, I'm going to get the f of do it. This is a very, this is a lot of promotion, right? This is a lot of promotion. I would not recommend doing this. I mean, we know that he wants iambic pentameter because he's written, like, you know, he's got, like, 154 of these, and, like, 95% of the lines are just, like, this easy iambic. But So we occasionally we get to this stuff like this, and we, we know he wants it iambic. I just personally would not write this. Like, again, promotion, promotion. You can even argue that might have been a promotion, right? It's a lot of promotion for one line. I like to, I like my primary, where my iambus come from, primarily come from monosyllable words and the primary stresses and multisyllable words, right? And, like I said, I like, I use promotion but and demotion, but I like to spread it out. I don't like it, like, stacked on top of each other. Just, I think it, I think it's very, um, I think it makes, makes it hard to detect the rhythm, right? That's just my opinion, though. That is not. Don't take that as fact. But let's look at this line, okay? And the, so I guess I or else of the this I pronosticate, right? That's the line. So the last line, thy end and truths and beauties doom and date. So let's do. Um, let's look at this. So let's look at an important monosyllable. Um, monosyllable words, right? We got end. We got truths, right? This line is way more iambic than the last line. We got doom, we got date, right? Pfft. Step one almost got this whole line. Um, now do we have any? We have one multisyllable word. So let's get the primary stress. It's the beauty and beauty. Do we have any promotions? Nay. So let's break it apart. And thy end is truth and beauty, doom and date. Pfft. Very iambic, right? This you can see this being iambic, right? So I would say that, right? This this line, even a, even a novice would uh, tell that uh, this is this is um, iambic, right? But then you get something like this, and you might be like, eh, is that really iambic? Like, right? We know it's iambic because you know, this is iambic. This is hard iambic. This is hard iambic. It's just I don't think this is the best written line. Like right? that's just me personally. Um, 
And then, like he's, again, if, like a novice wrote this, and I'm not calling Shakespeare a novice. I'm not saying he's bad at this. I mean, he he wrote tens of thousands, probably tens, hundreds of thousands of lines. So obviously he he be you know. I don't want to say fudge it, but you know when you write that many lines, not all of them are going to be like amazing for uh, iambic pentameter rhythm. I'm just saying I would, on a novice, probably knock him for this, right? I would not. I would not. I would say, hey, like the, I don't know, or else. I don't know what I would put in here, but I would try to put some more nouns and less pronouns in here, right? Um, but this this right here, this line's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the only thing I really want you guys to get out of here is this is just your pers for personal preference, right? I'll put that personal, personal advice, right? Don't stack promotions. Okay, that's 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 not a that's not a rule of I that's not a rule of poetic meter, right? That's not a, that's not like you know you're not gonna find a book that says that. I'm just saying personally, I would advise you not to do that. I would not. Okay, that's just me personally. Okay, you can do it. You can do it, but don't get mad. Don't get mad if somebody like promoted this and this, right? Don't get mad. Like, like you, you, you I, like you can't say no one ever told you that was not possible. I'm here telling you now that someone could do that, and you shouldn't be mad. Like, be like, oh, you don't have, you know, you, you wrote it. You know the risk. Okay, just be adults. But anyways, guys, that's uh, that's all I got here for Sonnet 14. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please, I would suggest you read the next poem and try to do your own scan of it and see how it lines up with mine. Okay, guys. So that's all I got for you for today, I, and I will see you guys on the next video later.